Okay, okay. I'll play Hyperborea. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Land 4, The New Order. And today, we're going to be playing as Felomir's Hyperborea. And to do that, we have to start as the Aryan Brotherhood under Guthrum Wagner and get Felomir into power later down the line. So basically what Wagner does is that he wants to make Russia a land of the Aryan Übermensch and cleanse Russia of these Slavic subhumans. Felomir on the other hand is the complete opposite. Felomir believes that Slavs are the true Aryans and that Germans are actually just fake Aryans and under him we will see a regime that is regarded to be one of the most cursed Russian paths among maybe Tabritsky and Omsk. So yeah, be prepared for a wild ride. So right now we will start with the focus tree beneath the hooked cross. You are performed admirably in the trials, served with unflinching loyalty in all the duties of the initiate. You have sworn the oaths to the folk, Reich and Führer. You have proven yourself as one among the elect, revel in the worthiness of your blood, Matthias Gertzfeld. Welcome to the Aryan Brotherhood. So now I'm going to first do a city of war footing. The decaying city. You people cannot do this to us. One day the wall of Russia will rise and crush you. Besides, are you not also rush? I've heard enough. The Brotherhood has plans for us all, and you will not stop us. In happy and joyous labor, the local Brotherhood patrol brought something other than terror. Jobs. The brothers, clad in their grey attire, sometimes they would take an insubordinate worker outside and beat them, but so far, Sergei could not hear any gunshots. At 10 in the evening, as promised, they let them go. The commanding officer gives them their pay, as well as some bread for dinner. How's your work, mother? Did the men in grey treat you well? Yes, they have, and it's no cause for you to worry. Good. Otherwise, I would beat them black and blue. Even in the darkest places there's still hope. The Outsider. Repeat after me. I swear to uphold the values of my race, to honor my ancestors with my every action, and to defend my nation to my dying breath. Whichever one is worthy, kill your compatriot. Brother, congratulations. You are officially a member of the Aryan Brotherhood. Tell me, what is your name? Siegfried Schutz, and I intend to advance far in the Brotherhood's ranks. And it looks like Felomir is in the Brotherhood. City of Slaughter. It had a stark, brutal beauty to it. Aryan or slave were seemingly of a single mind, united by force towards a single purpose, the utter annihilation of anyone who would stand in the way of the Aryan Brotherhood. The right gears up for war. And now that we're done with this side of the focus tree, I'm going to start going, bolstering our ranks. The search for a chosen. Do not be alerted. Rejoice instead, for the Brotherhood has come to you this night to deliver neither death nor doom, but hope. Herr Wolfgang Arisha, welcome to the hall and enjoy yourself. To burn out in the struggle, to rebel against our destiny and make our own. A push, a push against fate. The new overlords. This is how you hold a gun, you idiot. Touching you disgusts me. Do that again and I swear this time I'll shoot you dead. Stand up. How long will you lie there? Good. Pick up that rifle and try again. We have to teach you harshly, for you cannot understand. Any of you who can use this implement to kill five of your fellows who have proven you themselves airy enough to join us at the table immediately. Do not try anything funny. One step forward and took the pistol. He was not strong enough. Hard officer, it is an honor to meet a German. You must not get a lot here. Never. Are your uniforms surplus? Yes, mostly scavenged from what we could find. You have my sympathies. Who is the leader of this Reich Commissar? We don't have Reich Commissar, sir. We do have the Führer. Wait, isn't this Moscovian? Nine comrade. You're Russians then? Yes. But, why are you helping me? And finally, we're going to do the right side of the focus tree. Whoever this outsider was, he certainly had charisma. Could this be something to take advantage of? Or was it best to hold shoots down before he rose too far? And since we want to get Siegfried Schutz aka Felomir into power, a promotion is in order. 
And now that we're done with that, we can finally go cleansing Russia. Oh, and the German civil war is broken out. All right, and we get a new focus tree and we can go stealing that. The Führer's speech is that we must be ever diligent in our efforts and not forget the purpose of our legions, the end of Slavic barbarians and their relegations to our slaves. Oh, and we actually lost our border conflict with Bashkaria and we lost this province to them. That's a shame. By official order of Geheimstaatspolizei, all villagers must have 50% of their men, 25% of their women, and 25% of their children liquidated upon contact. The use of rape, plunder, and pillage as weapons of terror is both authorized and mandated. The aftermath. The men were shot, some of the women too, and barely two hours, almost three quarters of the town lay dead in pits. Such is the way of the Brotherhood shoots in the spotlight. The Zionists in this endless trickery has infiltrated even those nations that profess Aryan values. The true Führer of the Germany is a Jew, and only the Slavo Aryan master race has the capability to overrun his tyranny and free its homeland once and for all. This man just may be the genius of our time. And now we can finally do conquest without end. On the warpath, the peace was over and they were there, nothing good could last. Alright and now finally we can start declaring war and I'm first going to declare war on Bashkaria. Alright, a return to status quo, something never really changed. Next up is Beretz Niki. Alright, imposing reason. It is hard being the only rational people in Russia. The end of the Romanovs. The Empire died in 1917. The Brotherhood made sure it stayed dead. And now I'm going to declare war on Samara. And next I'm going to declare war on Komi. And finally, I can declare war on Vologda. And Vologda has been defeated as well. And we can form the Purified Aryan Brotherhood. And now we get the choice to either request Finnish negotiations or just invade Onega. And yeah, I'm just going to invade Onega. Oh, and Finland offers unconditional surrender. Wonderful. A new realm of Aryans. He glanced to the eastern side of the map, past the Euros. There were no nations shown there, just a black area labeled the Slavische Anarchy. There was still work to be done, and they would not rest as long as there was a single subhuman staining the land of old Russia. A storm is coming to the east. And we get a new focus tree, and I'm going to first do the Aryan Code. For the last fucking time, I don't give a shit about hair color. I have dark hair and I'm more Aryan than any of you snakes. But I heard the Germans believe you aren't a real Aryan unless you're blonde. Are you seriously suggesting the Germans are that stupid? To finally resolve the issue, he has announced he will form a council that will formally define the racial castes of Russia. Schultz has become the leader of a faction advocating for an expanded definition of Aryanism that he claims would act as a safeguard against instability and provide a necessary boost to Brotherhood membership. The Führer is personally repulsed by his ideas, but his supporters are too significant to ignore any longer. A rational debate. And lastly, I don't know if you and your fucks are Slavs, traitors, or just cowards. Shoot stared back at him. My Fula, I'm no coward. I'm proud servant of the Brotherhood. But before all else, I serve the Aryan race, and the Brotherhood is failing them. If there is a coward in this room, it is you. I don't care how many of the boys like you, I won't tolerate another slip up. Now I say we settle this the only way that seems fair. A vote. Shoots and their saviors won. Freedom for all Aryans. 
all right and now we can go down the, for the priority of the race and since we want Velimir aka Schultz in power we're going to expand the definition of Aryan all right and now I'm going to go down for the survival of the blood oh and now we can launch military intervention on the euros and i can now also choose between the way to freedom and the Aryan does not fear the untermensch and again since we want felomir in power i'm going to go the way to freedom and we have defeated the euros and we can finally do the clash of gods gudrun fagner the father of the brotherhood has seen a stream of an Aryan Russia realized and has fought to maintain the principles of Aryanism as he originally envisioned them. Everyone in the brotherhood admires the fearless genius, but some have become worried about his refusal to even consider compromise in the face of existential threats to the race. These members have rallied around Siegfried Schutz, the dark horse of the brotherhood, command and the self cope claimed savior of the race. Schutz and his disciples advocate a radical theory that the Slavs are the true Aryan race and the Germans that the Führer admires so much are Zionist puppets. Russia is only big enough for one tyrant. The wrath of the old gods. Siegfried, what are you doing? I'm not taking appointments now. I don't know what the fuck you think you're doing here, but I'm out of patience with you. You have five seconds to get on my sight before my guards come in and teach you not to interrupt me again. Fagner pressed the button underneath the desk that would call the guards in this room. We have let your tyranny continue for too long, Gudrun. You have butchered and enslaved the true Aryans and worshipped the Jewish puppets in Germany. It cannot go on. The race must survive. Fagner slammed the button again and again, but no one came. He started to open the drawer where he kept his pistol, but it was too late. Schutz pulled a dagger from behind his back and plunged it into his neck. After a moment, it was all over. Schultz wiped the blood from his face and turned towards the door. One of the guards was watching him. Are you right, sir? The man asked. Yes, it is done. And we are now Hyperborea led under Felomir.